Human beings are complex, and everything, including gender, is represented by diversity. You're fighting every day. You're fighting to be who you are. You're fighting to feel comfortable in your own skin. And that's just like at home. And then you have to go outside and you have to like fight a whole another battle. When you see yourself, what do you see that maybe you'd be interested in changing? Not every patient wants to have a surgical transition. You might just change your hair color, your makeup, the way you dress. You don't have to have surgery. I see a subset of the transgender population, only those patients who desire transitional surgery. <laughs> Goodbye to this face. <laughs> she has this internal image of herself that is very mismatched to her external appearance. And we're just going to make her external face and her internal identity match. It's going to bring more to the table. It's going to bring a lot to the table, baby. Oh, yes. You mean if they call today, they won't get an appointment for a year? They'll get on a waiting list. How could there be 400 patients? Oh my god, we need so much help. Um, insurance is giving me a hard time about some of the notes. Not medically necessary. Cosmetic, defer, deny, delay. I had to cancel two vaginal plastic cases because I was deathly ill. And if we cancel them, how are we going to find time to do that surgery? We're booked six months in advance. Remember, this is a work in progress. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And I love it, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it. There isn't a way for surgeons to learn now. There's no formalized training program. There are no standards. This is a new operation. We're, we're inventing this. You're, you're pioneering. It's amazing, Dr. Jane. I'm ready. Nervous? Yeah. Are you? Well, <laughs> I deserve a healthy and happy life just as anyone else does. I cannot. Like, I can't, I can't express how happy I, I am. I'm very, very grateful to have you here.